Man, YouTube, what's going on, man? Steph, back with another video. I was like, yo, let me put this out, right? Women destroy their own happiness. And I know it's going to sound a little harsh, and it's not really blaming the women, but this one really has to be said. And... The reason why I'm talking about this because most of these, uh, my fault. Most of these women do that to themselves, right? Because throughout their whole life, they they know when they have like a good man who really likes them, genuinely cares about them, and most of them, I'll say like this, like 90, 98, 95, 98% of them neglect that guy until it's too late. Until like she completely like falls off a cliff, right? I heard that in a podcast somewhere. And that's very true. Only like the smart ones would be like, you know what? I really like this dude. I don't want to lose him because he's a catch. He's a prize. And he really is wanting to build with me. Yeah, you know, the streets are fun and all that. But it's better when you have a guy who really cares about you. And most women throw that man off. Because, number one, he doesn't have himself together. Like, you hear a lot of these women say, Oh, I'll build a guy for a short period, for a certain amount of time. But most women don't understand that it takes a long time for someone's idea or even business to click off or even to even make the good amount of money. And but they chase the like I said in the other videos, man, they chase the blue face kind of guy, the future kind of guy or like let's just say like this, a player dude or or a dude who, who really ain't about nothing. Or they fall for a dude's game and put the good guy on the back burner. And that's why a lot of these women, man, they you see them, they'll be like, Yeah, he was so he was so amazing, he was this, and then after a while, I've seen this happen. That person is not around anymore because you start to understand and look, realize that it's gone. It's it's you cannot ever go back to that. Or that dude really just got what he wanted and played you and then when you start to do really well mr good dude they want you to come back they they want they want you to come back and give me another chance i was young you know i i i i, I didn't really like you like that but now i really want to give you a chance or like oh hey big head remember me bros i tell guys right now when you get played by those type of women, bro, you better stay far away from them. Once you see something wrong, you leave that alone. And then when you have your turn, you better you better choose the ones that are good for you. Right. Because women don't like I said in a video years ago, I wish that would have blown up. Women don't want to build with you, man. They want to take from you when you have everything. That's why I like a lot of these dudes who are trying to get their business started, they don't win with those women because the one, the woman, um, I'm going to say it like this, she don't see the potential, so she just neglects them. Oh, he ain't going to be nothing. He ain't going to be anything. But when they chase those dudes who really have it and they got that cocky arrogant arrogance about them, oh, how come all men are like this? Well, he has a right to be like that. He, he, he built himself up. He got his looks together. He got his money right. His mindset is right. He's going to choose women that he wants. But meanwhile, like you. Oh, my God, man. Getting all these damn notifications. I should have never did that on Instagram. Anyway, well, don't say never, guys. They don't, you know, they, they lose that kind of guy or they end up miserable. Another reason, too, I'm going to say it like this, man. It's it's the friends they choose. It's the it's that circle of influence with these women, man. They they like I said earlier, 
They say the streets is fun. It, you know, the streets is what it is. Uh, me and my friends, we belong in the streets. But like I was talking to a homie yesterday, I was like, yeah, you can you can be in them streets. You can go out there and, and you know, drink alcohol, do drugs and all that. Trust me, fellas. There's women out there, like, if you're in California, there's women out there who do drugs. I'm not going to say that, like, all the uh, names of it and everything. But there's women who do that. And some women, man, they just go down a real bad path. And there's no saving them because they chose that light. And I'm going to say it like this, too. Before it got too crazy, there was a dude who probably was looking for their best interest. But nope, they want to go hang with their friends. They want to be they want to be the life of the party with the friends. But when it's but most of these women are not built like that. That's why you see them hurt and sad and depressed. They want to have fun and all that other crap. But in reality, it's not it's not a good idea. Right. Like I, I know about that party lifestyle. I still am in into it. But some people, man, they don't know when to leave it alone. Some people don't know when it's time to go home. And then it really messes up a lot of females, man. And that's why I always say, man, it, it's their horrible friends, right? When, when a girl and her dude is rocky and they see a new dude, they, her friends be like, oh, go talk to him, girl. Go talk to him. Go talk to him. See, her friends would not ever say. Her friends would say, man, you got a good dude who really likes you. You need to stick with him. Their friends would not ever say that. You know, or even their family members, their family members will push your girl to somebody who's quote unquote doing better. Instead of building with that dude who's really trying or even because like things are getting rocky. And that's and that's why their families put them in horrible situations. Yeah, OK. It, it, they, she may be happy for uh, a span of one to four months six months but in re but man when, when reality starts kicking in for these women they not around that dude no more it, it's over with and let's just go back to the friends real quick you ever notice when a girl was hanging with all her thotty friends and you know the the dudes that are toxic all of a sudden she want to grow up what happened to all those people that she was with oh they slowly disappeared because you know why it's because reality started kicking in for this girl, she started to understand that, dang, the dude who really cared about me or that person that really cared about me, man, he he or she was right the whole entire time. But I didn't want to I didn't want to listen because I wanted to be in the streets. I wanted to have fun. I wanted to I wanted to, to, to experience what life was all about. And then it's like certain things probably happen to that person that she won't ever say. And And honestly, that's her fault. That's why I always tell you guys, when you see women like that or you deal with women who don't want nothing, who don't want nothing to do with you or they, they choose that bad dude or they choose their friends, man, leave them be. Like I had a dude on my TikTok, man. He, he told me about this. He was like, my girl broke up with me because she chose her her friends over me. And I told him this, man, leave it be. It's just the universe. It's just the universe telling you something. And you just need to walk away. Let let her let her fall flat on her face for that. If she don't if she don't um really see that certain people genuinely care or she doesn't understand that you genuinely care about her, let her go to the other side, fellas, because some of these women, man, they don't they don't want to know. They don't want to learn. Shoot, Wale, I tell guys like this, man, go watch, go listen to Girls on Drugs by Wale. He been was talking about this. These women are doing the same thing Wale was talking about five years ago. They don't know, or seven years ago. They don't know better, fellas. And you got to leave it be. You got to leave it be with them. You got to leave, you got to leave her alone when she, when you, when you see women like that and they start showing their true colors and they, they want to be, and it's just like, it's too much for you. You just got to leave her alone. Or you know how that life is, and she wants to experience it, bro. Let her go. Shoot. She once was a good girl, but she ain't going to be a good girl no more. And they, you just got to accept that. You can't save them. 
Like I said in a, um one of my shorts, bro, Batman couldn't save Gotham City. So you cannot save a woman, bro, who want to be out there like that. Leave her be. These women, these women jump after these toxic dudes until like it really gets serious. And then when it get really serious, oh, it's too much for me. It's too toxic. It's too much for me. I remember seeing that so many times. And it's like, well, you wasn't complaining drinking with him. You wasn't complaining jumping in that man's Mercedes Benz. You wasn't complaining when when he was so he was so fun and he was making you feel alive and everything. You wasn't complaining about that. You wasn't you wasn't complaining when he was manipulating you. Make it seem like the good dude was no wasn't wasn't really there. And now he ain't around no more. Now you now you hurt and, and you think about that dude who really wanted to protect you. And, and there's nothing you can do about that, bro. You just got to learn to walk, let them walk, or let them fall, let them fall flat on their face. I hate to sound that harsh, but you got to let them fall flat on their face. Shoot, I mean, I'm sorry to sound this harsh, but it's the truth. That's why I tell men when you do, when you experience that party lifestyle, you got to have control about it. You cannot let that consume you because when because when you do it, man, your finances is messed up. When she does it, man, she got she she got all the help in the world. As a man, bro, you start messing up, bro. You're going to be looking crazy. And there's nothing you can do. I had an ex, man. I didn't even know after the breakup because me and her was like talking and she was telling me, yeah, I was drinking. I was doing drugs. I was just going through a bad place in life. And I was like, dang, that's messed up. But at the same time, you wasn't doing that when I was around, when I was looking out after you. So it was a circle of influence of friends that you were hanging around. Who, who are pushing you to that. And then I started noticing, wait a minute, your smart, your circle got smaller and smaller and smaller because you know why? Because all those people who she thought were her real good friends really wasn't. And they would not ever admit, they would not ever say, you know, I was, I was hanging with the messed up people. A woman would never admit, you know what? I was wrong because I was chasing the wrong dude. I was wrong because my friends were like this or my family was just, or I'm just saying my family just didn't like you, but I'm sorry that they, they would not ever say that. They'll, they'll just, they'll just say, well, I'm doing good now, but you could have been doing better because that one dude was trying to protect you. See, women will never admit that they would, they would never admit that. And you just gotta be like, my hands are clear. Like I had to do that to a chick a couple weeks ago. She's still trying to stare at me and get my attention. Nah, chick, you a mess. You a mess. And, and I'm not even going to be around. I don't care about you. We see each other at the gym. That's all it's going to be. You a mess. You, you, you keep, you keep drinking. You keep hanging with your, your three or four friends. I'm good. I'm good over here. I ain't doing all that. And you got to be a man to leave her alone. Some dude will save her. Like, like I, I, I'm, I'm going to say it like this too, right? Like most of these women who mess around with these dudes or she can have a 304 pass or whatever. Some dude's going to, some dude going to put a ring on her, bro. She going to all out of nowhere be a, a, a great wife, a, a great mom or whatever. But I'm going to tell you like this, you know about it. You don't have to put up with it when you have your life together. When you are doing the things that you love to do, you have a right to choose who you want in your life. It doesn't it, it doesn't work where you got all you doing well, you got all the money in the world and you you have a right to choose who do you want in your life when you get yourself together, especially too when you have this right up here. You have a right to do that. Don't let no one ever make you think differently. Like to a lot of you dudes, man, I remember a homie of mine, man, he tried to get back with his baby mom and all that. Meanwhile, this girl already messed up your life, not once, but twice. You have a right to be 
You have a right to choose what's best for you because you put yourself through the battles and all that. Don't let no woman who has a messed up past come back into your life when you're doing good for yourself. That's why I tell guys, chicks from high school, even college, or even even that job where she was being a 304, you do not have to put up with her BS. You do not have to take her back. Do not ever in your life do that, man. When you when you find what's good for you, you keep that and you grow with that. Whether it lasts a long time or not. But always have this right up here. I'm out.